The overall goal of this procedure is to visualize ICC networks of the mouse GI tract. This is accomplished by first dissecting and isolating the entire GI tract and separating it into the stomach, small intestine, cecum and large intestine. Next, each part of the GI tract is fixed, either in acetone followed by mucosal removal for whole mount imaging or in paraformaldehyde followed by embedding and cryosectioning for cross-sectional imaging. The samples are then immunostained against KIT and other epitopes to label ICC and other relevant structures. Finally, images are required using a fluorescence microscope. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show the effects of genetic or environmental manipulations of mice on ICC architecture through immunofluorescence microscopy. This method can help answer key questions in the ICC field, such as how specific signaling networks and transcription factors affect ICC network architectures. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because improper stripping of the mucosal layer and orientation of the whole mount will result in significant background staining and loss of specific signal. To begin dissection of the mouse gastrointestinal tract, pin the limbs of a euthanized mouse onto a styrofoam surface and rinse the abdominal surface with 70% ethanol. Open the abdominal cavity with a long midline incision from the diaphragm to the pubis. Make one cut at the distal esophagus and a second cut at the distal